Christine for Yoga and today with me is Jessica. Thank you so much for joining us today for a little bit of a kids yoga practice. I have a question for you. Have you ever experienced a situation you found quite tough? Did you stick with it? Did you get through it or did you give up? Or did you ask for help? So I'm sure we can all think of some events in our lives that were really, really tough. But in the end, you got through it, you stuck with it. So today's practice is also to stick with certain things, where you find maybe things if you a little bit difficult, where you want to give up, but hopefully you stick through it and get through it. So let's, if, in case you're seated, um, come into a standing. We need a little bit of space to move, maybe yoga mat, maybe just um, a little bit of space on the floor. So in I, all I ask you to do is just copy me, copy some postures I'm doing. So we start almost with a bit of a balancing posture. So I'm, so let's come into tree pose. So I bring one foot, or I lean one foot against the opposite leg. So you can have the foot on the floor or you can press the foot against your shin. You can bring your hands together, maybe up overhead and focus, balance. Good balancing. So you might not be as still as I am, that's perfectly fine. If you fall, come back in. Breathe, balance, good balancing, Jessica. So what kind of a tree are you? Any tree is possible. So balance, focus. Well done, come back out. Good, opposite side, both feet. So you might just want to keep the foot on the floor, maybe you want to bring it up here or even up here. That's a little bit trickier. So find what works for you. And I'll give you a bit of a hint. Your eyes need to find a point that's really, really still, that's not moving, that helps with balance. So if you wobble, if you fall, come back in. Find your focus, good balancing. Good balancing. And slowly come back out, shake off your legs. <sighs> so I'm coming into chair posture now. I'm almost imagining I'm sitting back in a chair. So an invisible chair. And you can bring your hands onto your hips or you can take your arms up overhead and breathe. I'm just turning around so I can see you. So it might get tricky after a little bit. You can always take your arms down. Arms tend to get heavy. Stay in your posture. Where do you feel it? I can feel my thighs burning. Breathe. You can come out at any time. So things get hard, things get tough, things get difficult. Come back in, maybe you're still standing, that's very good. Don't forget to breathe. Take your arms up here. Two more deep breaths. And if you're still there, come back out. Oh, shake out your legs. <coughs> so, things feel a bit harder. Let's come onto the floor. Plank posture. So. Bring your legs behind you, press your hands into the floor, tummy lifts. Look down towards your hands, breathe. So the tummy might be lowering towards the floor. Keep the tummy up. Strong arms. Good. If you fall, come back in. Try again. So your hands underneath your shoulders. Good, one more breath. Oh, and then come onto your knees, shake out your arms. Well then, that was a bit of a challenge. It was tough, it was maybe a little bit, a little bit difficult, but you stuck with it. So come into a cross-seated position or any position that's comfortable. And bring your hands onto your heart, both hands onto your heart. Feel your heartbeat. So we're taking three deep breaths in through our nose and exhale out of our mouth. Twice more, in through your nose, exhale, 
Last one, you in through your nose. Exhale. So I've got a special bell here with me. And I'd like to see if you've got good listening ears. So when I ring the bell, you might hear the sound. Might be a loud sound, might be quite a soft sound. So when you can't hear the sound of the bell anymore, bring one hand onto your heart, one hand onto your tummy. Let's get started. Big listening ears. So I'm sounding the bell. When you can't hear it anymore, bring one hand onto your heart, one hand onto your tummy. Let's go. Well done. We do it one more time. Big listening ears. Good listening. So just take a one more moment to take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale fully. Just warm up our bodies a bit. Come to so circle your torso. Circle your upper body. Good. You can lean forward a little bit, lean back. Yay. Maybe some areas feel a little bit stiff. That's okay. And then turn the opposite way. So then coming back to stillness and bring your hands over to one side, lean forward and release over your over one leg. Couple of breaths. And then walk your hands to you to the middle and lean forward. And walk over to the opposite side. Have a little bit of a stretch, a little bit of a wiggle. And then walk your hands back to center. Take a couple of deep inhales, bring your arms up, bring palms together and on the exhale to the heart center. Twice more, deep inhale, big arm circles, inhale, exhale. Bring your hands to your heart. Last one, you inhale. And exhale down. Good. So we're twisting our bodies a little bit. So you can just bring your arms, opposite hands, opposite leg. Turn, maybe look over your left shoulder, look over your right shoulder. Good. And then come to stillness on one side. So my left hand holds onto my right knee. And I'm looking towards my right shoulder. Stay there. And then come back to center, opposite side. My right hand this time holds onto my left knee. I'm looking over my left shoulder. Good. Coming back to center. I'm going to put my bell away. So we're going to warm up the body a little bit with some sun salutations. Come up to standing. So we need a little bit of space moving back. We're doing three sets of sun salutations, saluting the sun and also our inner sun within our hearts. So I'm doing the first two rounds and if Jessica wants to do it, she can do the third round, talking you through. Ready? Inhale, reach up high. Exhale, fold down low, tickle your toe, hands down. Step back into plank. We've done this before, so strong arms, strong tummy. Stay here for three, two, one, and then lower your knees, tummy down. Oh, coming into cobra. So press into your hands, lean, uh, press up, look over your left shoulder, look over your right shoulder, and then maybe even do the hissing sound. A little swaying cobra from side to side. Come back to center. Whew. Press into your hands. Press up into tabletop. So we're on all fours. And from here, you can curl your toes under. Lift your knees 
and take the bottom up. That's downward dog. You can walk your downward dog, bend one knee at a time, maybe shake out your head, maybe wiggle your tail. And then step or walk towards your hands, knees bend, and then reach with your arms up high, 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 high. Palms together, hands together, back towards your heart center. First round done. Second one, inhale, reach the arms up high. Say hello to the sky. Fold down low. Tickle your toe, hands down. Step or you jump back into plank. Find your core, find your stability. Whew. Holding you for free. Two, 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 one. Knees tumble down. Whew. Take a moment to breathe. So coming to our hissing cobra once more. Inhale, reach up, look over your left shoulder, right shoulder, and big sniff, and then so come back down, press into your hands, into tabletop, all the way up into downward dog. Stay for two breaths. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. And then walk, step or jump towards your hands and reach your arms up high into the sky. Arms together, uh, palms together. Bring them towards your heart center. Ready for the third round? Okay, let's go. Reach your arms up, say hi to the sky. Fold down, tickle your toes. Jump back, step. Walk or jump back into into um, plank. Hold for two inhales. Lower down into cobra. Hiss like a snake. Look over your right shoulder. Look over your left shoulder. Tabletop. From that I'm going down the dog. Walk your dog for two deep breaths. You can also make your dog weave by putting your leg up. Hold for one breath. Put it down and do the other leg. Put it down. Step, walk, or jump to your feet and say hi to the sky. Bring your palms together oh, and just take a moment to notice. How do you feel? Maybe your heart rate is up a little bit. Maybe you feel it in your arms. Maybe you feel it in your tummy. So that's also part of yoga, just focusing on what's going on in your body, to noticing. So we are going to work a little bit on strength, finding our inner core, finding our strength. Step with your right foot forward, left foot back. So my left foot is a little bit turned out and bend your front knee so we can bounce here a little bit. So and from here, take your arms out wide. We're coming to warrior two, your knees bend. You look over your right finger, uh, you look over your right hand, middle finger, and breathe. So how long can we keep those arms lifted? How long can we keep those arms up? They might get heavy after a while. Breathe, look over your right hand, focus. So warriors are very focused. So a couple of breaths. If, you, if your arms get quite heavy, come back in. Well done, everybody. Holding here for another two breaths. And then slowly coming back out. Oh, give your arms a bit of a shake. Bring your left hand onto your thigh. Reach up with your right hand. Lean back. Feel a bit of a stretch. Good. Reversing the warrior. Then bending your front knee. Bring the forearm down. Lengthen. Reach up over your head. Extended side angle. One more time, reverse your warrior. Bring it back, reach up. And then bring your 
Five, and bring your arm down, reach forward, extend it side angle. Good. From here, come back up to standing. <sighs> Turn your feet around so they're both facing in the same direction. So once more, take your arms behind your back, fist down, bend your knees, and then fold forward. You can take your arms up overhead, and then shake out your head, say yes, say no. Two deep breaths, inhale, and exhale. And release your hands, come, bend your knees, come up to standing. Ooh, just take a moment to notice how you feel. Opposite side, so I'm turning my left foot out, looking in your opposite direction, bending my left knee, bouncing here a little bit. So, that bit, my knee feels also a bit more warmed up. Good. Then find your stillness, find stillness, take your arms out, side look over your left middle finger. Strong arms, strong warriors. Breathe, focus, looking over your left middle finger. Your arms might get heavy. If they are, take them down, come back in. How long can you hold your arms? So, looking over your left middle finger. One more breath, you can do it. And then bring your right hand onto your thigh leaning over, leaning back, and then bending your front knee. You can bring your forearm, upper arm down, reach up. One more breath, come into reverse warrior. And then coming once more into extended side angle. Coming up to standing, bring your hands down, bring the feet so they're Pointing in the same direction, they're parallel. So one more time, bring your hands behind your back, make a fist. Bend your knees, lean forward. You can take your arms up overhead. Ooh, shake out your head. And then release your hands. Come back up to standing and bring your feet together. Well done. It's going to be a little bit more difficult today, isn't it? So we're coming once more into our chair posture. So bring the feet together and bend your knees. Sit in your invisible chair. Bring your hands onto your thighs. So, and sit back. So from here, take both hands out to the side. Take your left hand back, look behind you, and come forward. Right arm goes back, look behind you, bring it forward. One more time, bring your left hand back, bring it forward. And right hand. And then release over your legs. Whew. Shake with your neck, your head. Maybe bring opposite elbows together. So just holding here, swaying from side to side. Whew. Take your hands down and step into plank posture and then over, come onto your tummy and have a bit of a rest. A couple of deep breaths. So from here we're coming to locust posture. So I'm with lifting opposite hands and opposite legs off the floor. So I've got my right arm forward and I lift my left leg and my right arm up and bring it down. So opposite side, left hand and right, uh, left arm and right leg and bring it down. So a couple of more rounds, alternating. Right hand and right arm and left leg, bring it down. Left arm, right leg, bring it down. Good, one more on the opposite side. Last one here, you can do it. Right arm, left leg, and bring it down. <sighs> Wiggle your hips from side to side. <sighs> so sometimes when things get really difficult and our brains and bodies are telling us or giving us signs to slow down, listen to them. So I think Jessica feels a little bit exhausted. So do I. And you know what? We'll just stay here for a few more breaths. Maybe wiggle your bottom from side to side. 
Maybe turn your head. And just acknowledge how you feel. So resilience is not always about pushing through, but sometimes just having a rest and then trying again. So from here, roll onto your back. So from your tummy, roll onto your back and bend your knees. So you can bring your hands onto your tummy. And always imagine you're blowing up a balloon in your tummy, you're inflating a balloon. So send that breath into your tummy so your hands lift on the inhale. Exhale, soften. Inhale, breathe into your tummy. Exhale. So do this twice more. Imagine maybe the color your balloon has. The color, maybe a pattern. So take two more deep breaths. So from here, bring your hands alongside your tummy, eh, alongside your body. So we are lifting up into bridge pose. So bring your feet relatively close to your bottom. And on the inhale, lift your hips to the bottom of the floor, press into your feet, and then exhale, slowly come down. Good, a few more rounds, inhale, lift your bottom off the floor, keep your legs strong, exhale, lower. So a couple of more rounds, coming in, lifting, strong legs, exhale, lower. Twice more, inhale, and exhale. So last one here, inhale, lift up. Maybe you want to stay a little bit longer, continue breathing as your hips stay lifted. Strong legs, strong lower back, exhale. Bring your bottom down, bring your knees into your chest, towards your tummy and just rock on your lower back. Perhaps even curl together like a little ball, so lift your nose, bring down your nose towards your knees, and then come back down. A couple of more rockings here from left to right. So then bring your legs up towards the sky, hands as well, and just give them a bit of a shake. Shake, 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 shake it all out. Good. Whew. And then coming back to center. So rock on your back into seated, so you can rock forward, backwards. So we're all meeting back in a seated position. So I'm coming into cross leg position. <sighs> so bring both hands onto your heart center once more. And notice how you feel. So always remember you did really well today. It might have been tough, it might have been difficult, but you stuck with it. You got through it. So remember your mindset when you take it off your yoga mat into maybe the playground, into school, family life. So bring your palms together. So bring your palms up towards your head. Kind thoughts towards your mouth. Kind words. Bring your palms towards your head. Heart. Kind hearts. Thank you very much for joining us. Namaste. Namaste. The light in me sees the light in you. I hope to see you next time. Thank you. Thank you.